Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make easy baked chicken drumsticks. This is a main dish that's ready for the oven in just five minutes, so it's always a family favorite of ours. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make four different flavors. Start by preheating your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and lightly grease a baking sheet. You wanna make sure you use one with sides though so the juices don't spill into your oven. Then we're gonna line up our chicken drumsticks directly on the pan. You can see that sometimes the skin sags down. You wanna pull it tight to cover your meat. Occasionally you get pieces with excess skin and you can go ahead and trim that off. Once your chicken is all prepped, it's time to season and bake. The first seasoning I'm gonna show you is just a basic chicken rub. You'll need two teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of sugar, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon dried basil, one teaspoon dried oregano, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of black pepper. Then you just stir this together. We can sprinkle that directly onto our chicken drumsticks. You can pat it, rub it in, and make sure you season both sides. Then top each one with a half tablespoon dab of butter. Now normally I just make one flavor, so I'd be putting these in the oven, but today I'm showing you three more flavors. The next is a zesty Tex-Mex style. For this one, you'll need two teaspoons of ground cumin, one teaspoon of chili powder, a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, half teaspoon of garlic powder, half teaspoon of salt, and then last, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves. Stir this together. Instead of sprinkling the seasoning mix directly onto the chicken, first I like to add on a little bit of freshly squeezed lime juice. We'll just drizzle that on some of our pieces over here. And then we'll sprinkle on some of that seasoning mix. And once again, you wanna rub that in and get the whole thing coated. And then once again, top each piece with a dab of butter. Next, we'll do a quick Cajun seasoning. For that, you'll need one teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon each of dried oregano and dried basil, and then a quarter teaspoon of dried thyme, a quarter teaspoon black pepper, a quarter teaspoon white pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and stir this together. Once again, we'll sprinkle that over our chicken drumsticks and top with a dab of butter. For our last one, we're going with the flavors of India, so this is gonna be like a tikka masala curry type rub that's so delicious. For this one, you'll need two teaspoons of ground cumin, two teaspoons of paprika, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of ground ginger, one teaspoon of garam masala, and the last, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Stir this together. For this one, you can squeeze on lemon juice first if you want, or just add the rub directly to the drumsticks. You can go light on the spices or heavy on the spices and double them if you need to. Next, we're gonna bake these in the 400 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes or until the chicken reaches an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Make it a meal by serving them with mashed potatoes, a simple pasta dish, some cooked rice, and then throw in some veggies on the side. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.